On World Diabetes Day, we're asking you how healthy are you and do you actually know whether you have diabetes or not and how many kinds of diabetes are there. We're here in a South Delhi location in Nizamuddin, here at the Rajasthan Police Academy in Jaipur. We are at the Fortis Hospital in Anandapur in Kolkata. Agrahara School, close to Electronic City in the... the city itself in Bengaluru. We are here at the Indian School of Business uh, as part of our campaign. I come to you from the Fortis Mala Hospitals in Chennai. It's World Diabetes Day. For a city that's plagued by the lack of open spaces and thrives on vada pao and cutting chai, tackling diabetes becomes a priority. The campaign focuses on healthy living and diabetes. It addresses healthy eating and its importance in prevention of type 2 diabetes, management of diabetes. 382 million people living with diabetes worldwide. By 2035, 592 million people or one person in 10 will have diabetes. 316 million people currently at high risk of developing type 2 diabetes. Up to half of all people with diabetes globally remain undiagnosed. The silent killer, not so silent. with us, the Amity Vice President for Communication, Savita Mehta. Ma'am, one thing that most people want to concentrate on is the youth yes. when it comes to health. How yes. important do you think are campaigns like these for health, especially, especially diabetes, which is a very big silent killer? It's very important. First of all, let me thank NTTV, SRL and Fortis Healthcare for conducting this camp in the university. We conduct a lot of similar camps here. And uh, you see, the problem with youth is that they don't, they sometimes are not aware if there's something wrong with them. And by accidentally, they just come to know that, uh, you know, whether they have uh, diabetes or they have cholesterol levels high and they're not so healthy. So these kind of camps help the youth to know about their body, take care of the body, and especially then uh, know that what to eat, good food to eat, and, uh, you know, go away with the junk food. Diabetes is a very big problem and it needs to be curbed very fast. So I think to, to make people aware, I think uh, initiatives like this must, must be increased and the colleges should be much more aware of, about these situations. My father is suffering from diabetes as well. So I know what are the problems related to it, the complications and what measures are, are to be taken to combat the disease. I know about that uh, there are two types of diabetes. One is diabetes mellitus and one is diabetes inspidus. One of it is in which the insulin level increases and the other is insulin level decreases. But I don't know which one is. There are two main types of diabetes. Type 1 diabetes is most common in children but can be diagnosed at any age. It's an autoimmune condition that permanently destroys beta cells in the pancreas meaning the body can no longer produce insulin. Without insulin, the body cannot process glucose as fuel and its level increases in the blood dangerously. Type 2 diabetes is a metabolic disorder that results in high sugar in the body because the body either ineffectively uses the insulin it has produced or is unable to produce enough insulin. Type 2 is largely related to unhealthy lifestyle and occurs mainly in people over 40. Now, of course, it's cutting across the age barrier. Earlier, there was a misconception that diabetes happens only among the you know, older generation, but now it is happening with us. I mean, students are age 20s, mid 20s, teenagers. So that, that that's scary. So, yeah, um, uh, normal stuff uh, like diabetes can happen anytime due to you know um, not uh, leading not a very good lifestyle. No food which is not too healthy, a lot of chips, preservatives are there, it's obvious. And then probably it also happens among uh, pregnant ladies if I'm not wrong. Today we're at Tihar Jail in the capital which currently is housing more than 14,000 inmates. Here we're conducting tests to see which one of them may be at risk.
इसके पहले आपको डायबिटीज के बारे में कोई जानकारी थी कि ऐसी कोई बीमारी होती है नो no, मैम अब थोड़ी जानकारी है कि डायबिटीज से क्या क्या होता है नहीं मैम जरूरी है जेल में तो छह महीने में टेस्ट कराना चाहिए क्यों यहाँ पर आपको क्यों लगता है जरूरी है जी यहाँ पे जी बस कुछ भी हो सकता है इंसान के साथ खाना खाने में भी दिक्कत होती है कोई हर चीज़ में दिक्कत हो सकती है हाँ जानता हूँ मैं मैं बाहर भी योगा टीचर था और यहाँ पे भी मैं आर्ट ऑफ लिविंग की क्लासेस में एज ए योगा टीचर हूँ डायबिटीज होती है दो कारणों से एक होती है टेंशन से और एक होती है अपनी लाइफ स्टाइल से इस पर खाने का भी असर होता है थोड़ा बहुत लेकिन आप खाने के हिसाब से अगर आपकी वर्जिश रहे या वर्कआउट करें तो नहीं होता है in a south delhi location in nizamuddin one of the many localities where ndtv fortis and srl diagnostics is conducting blood sample tests to tell you whether you have diabetes or not these are free tests and we have a range of people here who have already got their tests done not my type and of course these are some of the people who are helping out uh, making these people understand why it's so important to get your blood test done uh, for diabetes because it's one of the major aspects affecting the health of many many indians whether you're from whichever economic strata uh, let's ask them aapne aaj apna ye test karaya hai aapko pata tha iske bare mein isse pehle ji maloom tha hum inko batate hain hamari baat sunte hain aur aate hain hum inko kaafi saari batate hain jisse ज्यादा मीठा नहीं खाना चाहिए जैसे वॉक करना चाहिए ज्यादा घास में घास में जाके वॉक करें हम ये सब बातें उनको समझाते बताती हैं और हमें फॉलो करती हैं Dodda Thoguru Panchayat office here in Bengaluru where a free glucose testing camp is going on this is part of the NDTV Fortis Health for You campaign with of course help from SRL Diagnostics testing like the testing that is going on here today a vital way to measure whether a person has in fact diabetes or is prone to it joining us at this NDTV Fortis Health for You blood glucose level testing camp is Dr Suvarna of SRL Diagnostic i notice it here It is not the finger prick test which we have seen. This is being taken in a vacutainer. Yes. Why is it this way? Yeah, finger prick testing is done. You know, at in you know, we we do it at point of care testing and in okay. homes when you use glucometers, okay. where we take capillary blood, yes. and the value which you get in capillary blood may not be the right accurate okay. value. So we need venous blood. Okay. Venous blood is taken from. veins smaller veins which are either in your you know uh, hand or probably in your uh, elbow okay. so the easiest approach is taking a venous sample and the best ndtv fortis health for you campaign is back this time with a focus on diabetes the disease regarded as silent killer resulting out of mismanaged lifestyles it's an attempt not only to create awareness among the masses but also reach out to them through camps at their doorsteps we are here at the indian school of business uh, as part of our campaign on the diabetes day and you can see uh, uh, the srl diagnostic people here with their medical kits to get the blood sugar levels tested uh, we have students coming here we have the staff members of the isb coming here to get their blood sugar level tested i'm joined by one of the students here who happens to be a doctor as well uh, just tell us the level of awareness when it comes to these lifestyle diseases uh, i'm told you know given the uh, heavy work schedule a lot of long long study hours you know students don't get much time 
to pay attention towards yeah. their health. Yeah, coming on to the awareness level, I mean, uh, everyone is uh, quite educated out here. So everyone knows about the heart concerns, the blood concerns, all these things. Uh, yeah, definitely we have a crunch of time, so we don't get for uh, routine checkup. But yeah, we have a CrossFit programs wherein uh, people go regularly and keep uh, track of their uh, health record. My father, my uncle and my grandfather all have uh, serious diabetic, uh, or all are serious diabetics. Mm. So I have a huge risk of uh, running diabetes. So I consciously get involved in activities like CrossFit, which I do three to four times a week. Mm -hmm. I go to the gym, I play all sports like squash, tennis, table tennis. So I keep myself active. Awareness levels in India are improving and mm. we as a business school and a club are taking efforts to see how we can increase the awareness of the disease in the bottom of the pyramid that is the rural uh, and the you know uh, and the poor people right. who are the less aware and, and in some way more affected population by this disease. Mm.